Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal in India. I'm going to explain you few tips for preparing Java interview. How to prepare for Java interview? Whatever I know, I'm just want to share with you so that you can save time in preparing for your interview. Following books will help you to prepare for the interview. So these are the two books before you before you even you start for the interview, you should go through this book briefly and and these are the topics I'm going to give you a few topics that you should be thorough before even you apply for the job so so keep reading about these topics keep preparing about these topics even before you attend the interview be thorough in, in your fundamentals in the sense oops concept oops concepts inheritance polymorphism overloading overriding abstraction and encapsulation these are the top topics you should cover thoroughly Okay, why do we need? What is the use and when we have to use all these concepts okay, in your project? If you're an experienced programmer like seven years to ten years, you should know why, when, and how can we use. Okay, and you should give trade-offs of using the different solutions. And the other topics are collections, you should be thorough. What, which collection should I use for iteration, sorting, and and you should know the in and out of hash map internal so what will happen if you don't override the equals method and um, hash code method so what happens exactly so different combinations you should try and uh, be prepared for this for the interview exceptions difference between error exception and runtime exception you should thorough the exception topic completely multi-threading concepts instance static synchronized methods what happens exactly when a thread enters the instance and static thread uh, static synchronized methods so be thorough uh, and be clear about what is a thread and what does static and instance method play in that uh, play role in that okay and callable volatile and new features in thread uh, which were introduced recently you should be thorough these topics and serialization concepts so how can I avoid some so how can I avoid a, uh, a serialization uh, when to avoid how what is the what are the impacts when to use Okay, how can I use? How can I, how can I use my own uh, serialization? In the sense, uh, for example, three attributes are there. Only two attributes I want to serialize. How can I do it? So that's where the transient uh, variable comes, keyword comes into picture. So, so in and out, read completely. And what happens if I um, if my subclass implements this serializ serializable and my space class does not? implements a serializable what happens to in that in that scenario so what happened during the serialization deserialization okay whether constructor co constructors are called or not so be thorough in all these concepts string you should know how a string is stored internally and string constant pool and what happens whenever you compile a java class or what are the you should understand the the dot class file and how the strings are stored in the string constant constant pool and what is the advantage of immutable and the other topics are generic statics garbage collection you should be uh, you should be prepared automatic memory management one of the main important Java feature and finally stack and heap so where the variables are stored where the objects are created whether it's uh, uh, whether, whenever, whenever a new thread is thread is launched what happens and what happened to the local method instance method and what about the static methods? Where it is stored? Where static variables? Where all it is stored? So, uh, I have given few ex few topics for preparing Java interview. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you for watching this video, and all the best for your interview. This video is from interview.com, a job portal in India. Thank you.